I'm going to tell the story that lies behind my communist garden modern icon. When I tell people this story, I usually cry. Um, it represents one of those times in your life when you realise coincidences are much more miraculous than some like to believe. It's a long story and I'll do my best to keep it short. Okay, So imagine this. I'm visiting Mykonos for the first time and staying at the annex my art school owns at the port. This popular Greek island is my father's birthplace. He was last there as a small boy and no family that we know of lived there anymore. They all moved to Bidaus, the port of Athens. Family connections are frayed on Dad's side and my first-hand experiences are distant and out of focus. I take a bus to the village, Anomera, where Dad was from just to say I visited, and then in an hour I was to take the next bus back to the port where I'm staying. It's summer, a public holiday, and siesta time, so the village square is isolated. I have a telephone card with a little credit on it. I've just arrived, just gotten off the bus, and I head to the telephone booth and call Australia to surprise my dad and tell him that I'm here. He never answers the phone, but he did this time, which is miraculous in itself. The seconds passing, we're going to get cut off, and my dad shouts out just in time, beckoning me rather, go to the windmills, mention my parents' name, go and see my mother's home. It will probably be in rubble. I say, okay, yes, I'll try. I wanted to tell him that I had to leave, that I'd have to be catching the next bus in 45 minutes or so, but I didn't. And then the phone cuts off. All I was left with was my yes. And I'm big on my word. My father taught me that. I said yes, but I felt it was impossible, but I said yes. A small odyssey followed that led me late in the day to be seated out on a porch of a house surrounded by a garden oasis of abundance amongst a rocky and hilly landscape playing backgammon with an old communist. He reminded me of my dad. He reminded me of my dad in more ways than one. There were qualities he had that I couldn't easily recognise in my father growing up, but what emanated from this gentleman felt absolutely familiar and very much who my father was at his core. Needless to say, I missed several buses and arrived back at night to the annex to worried friends with a story no words could adequately satisfy. All I knew was that I had been given a glimpse of paradise. Adoni and his wife Alexandra were an elderly couple who were still very much in love and flirted and joked the whole time I was with them. To this day, they have left a lasting impression on me. Our blood called us to each other were the words Alexandra said to me when she opened her door and saw me standing there. And then came a loving, full-hearted embrace I also have never forgotten. I'll leave my account here for now. It's a beautiful story and there's much more to describe about it. Filled with the potential for many more paintings. And yes, I found my grandparents' house. And of course, so much more. Now the tears are coming. <laughs>